Hello, I'm Simon and welcome to the CyRob YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you one of my favourite tools which is my brake caliper rewind tool which is almost the only brake caliper tool that you'll need. Um, doesn't work so well, well it doesn't work at all on um, uh, calipers where you've got pistons on both sides but on for most run-of-the-mill cars that you'll come across with a single piston it's an absolutely fantastic tool. Uh, it comes with loads of attachments dependent on the style of caliper you're dealing with. This particular one, it's just a straight push in. There's no twisting required on, on the caliper piston or anything. So I just need this plunger attachment and away we go. So all you do is you just take your time getting everything lined up. Um, you just want everything going in nice and square. So the preparation part is by far the most important bit just making sure the tool sits square and um, and the piston is being pushed nice and evenly this is also brilliant for installing new pistons when you've done a, um, a, a caliper rebuild as well now the reason for doing this video as well is just to show you how a lot of people I, I, I still see will push in a brake caliper piston when they're accommodating new pads say after a disc and pad change or thicker discs and um, and they'll just take off the brake fluid reservoir cap and so as they push the piston in the fluid then goes all the way back through the system and forces up the the um, the level in the reservoir then they take out any excess but the the problem with that method is that on any car the worst fluid in a caliper uh, the worst brake fluid in the entire system is the fluid that's in the caliper so I always when I'm winding back the piston I, I attach a hose to the brake bleed nipple undo the brake bleed nipple and then start winding in the piston and that means the worst of the fluid which is that that's been sitting in the caliper that's been doing the most work it's been subjected to the most temperature extremes it's that bad fluid which then gets ejected from the braking system. Um, all you do then is you top up in the reservoir uh, with fresh fluid uh, and you just pump the brake pedal basically until the piston meets the disc once you've put everything back together and then just top up in the reservoir. So doing it this way means that you just squish out all of that really crappy fluid rather than pushing it back into the piston, uh, back into the caliper to give it a second chance. You don't want this fluid having a second chance. It's, you know, it's, it's done its job. And, uh, and so, I mean, of course, I've got a tool where I... Uh, completely flush the system as well you know so there's there's nothing wrong with you know just doing a complete brake fluid refresh it's just that if you are going to be winding in a piston you may as well just crack off the bleed nipple and eject the worst fluid out of the system and then once you're done once the piston's fully retracted you just tighten up the brake bleed nipple and then the piston's in the correct position to accept nice new thick discs and pads and if you see the state of the fluid there, you'll see compared to new fluid, that is fluid that you do not want any longer in your brake system. And that's why I use this particular system rather than giving it a second chance. And that's it. Just short video and I hope you find it useful.